Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. So today I have my summer fragrance recommendations for 2021 for you. I am so excited about the fragrances that I have to share with you. In fact, I had so many that I've decided to split this video into two parts. So this video is obviously gonna be my summer fragrance edit and then I'm gonna have another video specifically focusing on tropical and beachy scents. So that'll be my next video, which I'm very excited about. And before we get into it, as always, if you're not already subscribed to my channel and you would like to see more from me, I would love it if you would subscribe, hit the bell, and also come and follow me over on Instagram as well, and I'm gonna get straight into this. So, my first fragrance is from a brand that I've discovered recently. It's called Zayara, and it is from a brand called Sunna Musk. If you haven't heard of them, because I've only recently discovered them, like I said, they are inspired by Arabian scents, but they also have more Western kind of smelling scents as well. This is one of their more western scents but they've got all sorts i tried a load of samples from them they've got sweet scents they've got oriental scents fresh woody whatever you're into they do home scents they do oils i'm very excited about this brand and they use really high quality ingredients plus they're affordable which is amazing so this one i think is my favorite like i said it's called zayara this is the perfect day-to-day -day summer scent. It's such a gorgeous, uh, it's like a fresh, feminine, floral, flirty kind of scent. It's a little bit tropical. It's got apple and bergamot in the top, so it opens up quite juicy and a little bit citrusy. There's a stunning coconut note in here. It's slightly lactonic, which I really like, and it's got vanilla, it's got some sweetness. I love wearing this when I'm fresh out of the shower. It's got a really sort of uplifting vibe about it. It's quite refreshing, it's not overpowering at all, and I just think that this would be such a great scent to wear just for day to day. I also have this fragrance from them called Sweet Escape. This video is a top 10, but this fragrance, I want to mention it just because it's from the same brand and I really like it. So technically it's a top 11, but this is a gorgeous floral woody amber scent. It's very light and airy, which I like. Ugh. It's got some jasmine in here. It's musky, it's sweet. It's got like sort of a creaminess to it. And again, it's perfect for day to day. You could wear this on an evening as well, but I just love this for day to day. It's super sophisticated while still being sweet, which I like. Next up, I have Poudre d'Or from Mise en Serre. This fragrance, okay, so the name translates as gold dust, and if gold dust had a scent, it would honestly be this. It is just stunning. Ugh, I can't get over it. The opening has this gorgeous kind of sparkling effervescent quality it's really really pretty it's powdery obviously there's some florals in here there's tiare flower which gives it this slight tropical feel not overly tropical but just a little bit and there's some vanilla in here it's got this gorgeous smooth creamy balmy sort of feel this honestly reminds me of sun cream on warm skin on a hot day. That is what this smells like to me in the best, most luxurious possible way. It's quite a delicate fragrance and it does sit quite close to your skin, but I wore this yesterday and it was really lovely and sunny outside and the heat from the sun just really makes this kind of radiate off your body and it creates the loveliest sort of aura around you. I love it so, so much. It's very elegant, very refined. I love Mise en Serre. I just think they are such an amazing brand. This is Alberto Marias's brand, if you didn't already know that. I have another one from Mise en Serre. This is Solar Blossom, and again, it gives me that sort of sun cream on warm skin feel, but this one is an orange blossom scent. So gorgeous again it's so luxurious so refined it's orange blossom there's some jasmine in here some neroli this has sort of like a musky feel about it it's light and airy though which is so nice it performs really well in the heat it's not too imposing and the longer this is on your skin 
it goes sort of a little bit sweeter which is nice there's some vanilla in here and it's just overall a really really beautiful scent to wear when the weather's warm next up I have flamenco neroli from Locastro parfum neroli is one of my favorite notes in fragrances I love it so so much this is such a gorgeous refreshing uplifting fragrance it opens up quite citrusy and zesty the whole fragrance is quite citrusy but it's like a zesty citrus which i really really love there's some jasmine in here along with the neroli and there's some woodiness in the base as well it's got some cedar wood that just gives the fragrance a lovely depth i just love this fragrance this is a perfect one for hot summer days it's really uplifting refreshing i think this is completely unisex and it's just a happy bright fragrance as well it's summer in a bottle i love it i love that it's got those floral notes to go along with the citrus notes because I enjoy citrus fragrances but sometimes I can just find them a little bit boring and I like that this has that sort of zestiness along with the florals and the woodiness all of the notes just play together so well in this fragrance I love it next up I have Atomic Rose by Initio this is such a sexy rose fragrance oh, I love it it's got this beautiful sort of deep rose note sort of like a dark rose with vanilla there's some spiciness in there it's a little bit sweet there's this fresh muskiness which kind of reminds me of parfum de mali delina it's got the same sort of fresh muskiness if you smell that fragrance you'll know what i mean but this is much darker and sexier i just absolutely love this so so much it's from initio's carnal blends collection as well and it contains a chemical called hedione which stimulates the pleasure center of your brain i mean what more could you want i think that this would be such a perfect fragrance for summer day at night but also you could wear this during the day so easily as well next i have jasmine or soleil from versace atelier which is versace's private collection it's exclusive to harrods in the uk and this is as the name suggests a beautiful solar jasmine fragrance it's a really realistic smelling jasmine to me. This reminds me of, you know when you're on holidays, it's a warm, balmy evening and the jasmine flowers are just releasing their scent and the air smells like jasmine. That is what this smells like to me. There's a lemon note in here, which is really beautiful. There's some freesia, there's some cedar wood. It's just absolutely stunning. It's very refined, very elegant. It's sensual as well, which I love. And it does, again, have that sunscreen on warm skin feel, but very refined, like I said. It's gorgeous. I also pick up an ever so slightly green note in here. I don't know where I'm getting that from. But I absolutely love this. It's so stunning. Next up, I have a fragrance from Ella K, or I think it's pronounced Ella Car. It's a French brand, and this is called Reflet sur Locavango, which means reflections on the Locavango, which is a river in Africa. Guys, this is one of my absolute best discoveries recently. I am obsessed with this fragrance. I love it so much. So I'm going to give you a bit of a backstory. Basically, oh, I have been looking for a fragrance like this for so long and I just haven't been able to find it until now for ages. I've wanted, okay, so one of my absolute favourite kind of eras for fragrances is the 90s. I love a 90s honeyed floral fragrance and I've been wanting to find one that's just more modern, has a little bit of fruitiness maybe, just doesn't have that density of your typical 90s floral fragrances. And honestly, this is that fragrance. I love this more than I can even begin to tell you. Like I said, it's a gorgeous honeyed floral fragrance. It's got acacia flower, which is so stunning. 
It's got a hint of fruitiness, but the fruitiness is from Marula, which is so unique. I haven't smelled that in a fragrance before. I know what it smells like though, because I use Marula oil on my face in my skincare routine, and it does have a very distinctive smell. And I love it in this fragrance. It's smooth, it's sweet. I feel like it might have some vanilla in here, I'm not sure. There's a little bit of woodiness. I love this so much. It's such a romantic fragrance. In my experience, this is the type of fragrance that men love on women. Because it's sweet, it's smooth, it's inviting and it's comforting, but it's also sophisticated. This reminds me a bit of Lancome Poem. If any of you guys remember that fragrance, it was literally launched in 1995, but it was my mum's signature scent when I was a little girl. And I just have such a special place in my heart for that particular fragrance. And this really does remind me of that. But like I said, it's more modern. It doesn't have the density of your 90s florals. It has that fruitiness. And honestly, if you are one of the people who really trusts my niche recommendations, there's some of you which buy fragrances that honestly I love, but they're so niche that when I share them with you, I don't expect you to just go and blind by these fragrances, but somehow you do. And it makes me so happy when you love them just as much as I do. Obviously it makes me so happy whenever you buy anything that I recommend and you love it because it just warms my heart. But when I recommend a fragrance that I feel like I've discovered, which is kind of how I feel about this fragrance, I couldn't find any reviews on this fragrance online. So when I discovered this, I was like, I've discovered a hidden gem and I love it when that happens. And that happened to me with Widian Hilly and it happened to me with Maison Crivelli, Iris Malacan. So many of you guys bought those two fragrances and you come to me and you tell me how much you love them and it just brings me so much happiness because I know I feel how much you love them because I love them in the same way and I just feel like this is going to be one of those fragrances. If you enjoy the same types of fragrances as I do, then please check this out. It'll be linked down below along with all of the other fragrances, but this is just so, so beautiful. Next up we have a designer fragrance. It's Versace Dylan Turquoise. I really like this fragrance. It's a citrus floral. It opens up with lots of lemon and mandarin, which is gorgeous. There's some black currant and guava in here as well. It's got a very sort of juicy feel. And like I said, it's got that floral aspect as well. There's some freesia in here. It's got a little bit of woodiness. There's some muskiness in there. When it dries down, it goes a bit musky on your skin, which is just gorgeous. I really, really like this. It's such a great fragrance for day to day. Next up is one of my absolute favourites, Fragrance Du Bois Santal Complet. Summer just wouldn't be complete without this fragrance in my opinion. It is my favourite sandalwood fragrance that I have in my collection. It's such a beautiful, creamy, smooth sandalwood. It's got this gorgeous coconut note in here, which is just stunning. It's got a little bit of lemon in here, but it's sort of like a balmy lemon, which I love. There's some violet, there's some vanilla, it's got a hint of sweetness. It's overall just a very light, airy fragrance though, so perfect for summer, and I just love this. Next up from Aqua di Palma, we've got one from their Blue Mediterraneo line. This is called Mandolo di Sicilia. Apologies for my pronunciation. Um, oh, I love this fragrance so much, guys. It's basically an almond and vanilla scent. It's very gourmand. It just, it smells yummy. I love it. It reminds me of, I don't know, like ice cream or some sort of dessert. And it's very light though. It's a sweet fragrance that you can really easily wear during summertime. I will say the only downside about this is that it just doesn't last very long on your skin, but I love the actual scent of it so much that 
I have the big size and then I have the 30ml which I take out and about with me in my handbag for top ups and for me it's worth it. I would recommend checking this out if you like sweet fragrances but you don't want something that's going to be too heavy um, during summertime like when the weather's warm. And this has got a gorgeous anise note as well. A lot of people say that this reminds them of a root beer float but I've never personally had a root beer float, so I don't make that association. I feel like that's an American thing, but I really, really love this. It's so kind of smooth and creamy, and again, it's got this ever so slightly balmy feel, which I just love. This is one that I like to spray on all over my body when I've just got out of the shower, and I just feel like I smell like a little sweet treat. And like I said, my next video will be specifically focusing on tropical and beachy scents because you know that they had to have their own moment. But I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Be sure to give it a cheeky little thumbs up as always. If you did, leave me a comment. Let me know if you'll be getting your hands on any of these fragrances or what your recommendations for summer are for me as well. I would love to know. I love chatting to you guys in the comments. But yes, I'll hopefully catch you in my next video. Bye.